Okay, hi, we continue again. Alright, so this one we're going into the meta analysis. What are the tools? Okay, what are the tools that you use, uh, usually use for the HR to, to get some data? Okay, on the task performed and then also on the movement involved. Okay, meta analysis is for, uh, meaning that the focus on how task is performed. And usually, uh, we need to document all the activity, or the movement, or the timing, or the distance that involved. Uh, we we look at the movement of individual or material, in which we, we I will show you on the flow diagram and process chart. And then activity of human and machine or crew activity okay, involved with the activity chart. And the third one is the body movement in which they are using the operation chart. So this chart uh, serve a different purpose. Okay. So we look at the flow diagram. Okay. Drawing used to analyze movement of people or material or both. Okay. So we look at here is they involved with the three workers. Okay. These are the workstation. We have machine one, machine two, machine three, machine four, and then the storage bin and the paint shop. So they need to improve. Okay, they, they, they want to reduce the movement if possible. So they, they this is the before. Okay, the before they do the improvement. Okay, these are the flow. Okay. Storage being going to machine one, machine two, okay, and also machine three, machine four, and direct to the welding. And then to the paint shop. Then they improve. So that they only need two workers. Oh no, actually they need one workers here. Okay, only one workers involved here. And then they relay out. Okay, they rearrange uh, the machine and also the storage bin. And they also rearrange the flow for improvement. Okay, let's see the new improvement they done. Okay. Straight to storage bin, the smaller storage bin. And then machine one, two, three, and four in sequence. And then finally welding. And then straight to the paint shop. So you can see that they have reduced the manpower to two workers only. And also they have reduced the space. So before this, the storage bin is quite big. And now they reduce the storage bin to smaller size. And they are doing the U-shape here. Okay. Alright, that's the use of flow chart. And now we look at the process chart. Okay. What is process chart for? It's a graphical presentation that describes the sequence of the step of a process. Remember, they have done the improvement okay, from the flow diagram. So, they want to transfer it more detail. Okay, The flow diagram doesn't give you the exact task that they are doing. But doing by, by you having the process chart, so they uh, do the description step by step. Okay, These are the symbol. The symbol is... Uh, commonly used throughout uh, the worldwide okay so if you go to any country they are using the same symbol uh, the round one means operation transport is the arrow okay square means inspection this uh, shape means delay and this triangle upside the triangle is the storage okay oops all right so this one is the distance okay the distance involved these are the time involved so they, they take the timing also the distance and the chart symbol and these are the process description. So from the number one, from the press machine to storage bin. So it come from here. So it is must, uh, it's a transport. Okay, because it's a movement from press machine to storage bin. So it must have the symbol of arrow. Okay, what are the, the distance? 50 feet. Okay, they, they do it in the feet. And then the next one, storage bin. So the material stay three minutes at the storage bin. Okay, and then uh, move to machine 1. So, means that from storage bin going to machine 1, the distance is 5 feet. Okay, and then goes directly into operation of machine 1. Take about 4, min 4 minutes. This one is the operation. So, it should have the circle. Okay. Alright, and then the next move to machine 2. Okay, 4 feet. And operation take about 2.5 minutes. And then they describe the whole process in this chart until the end going to the well. Okay, for 4 minutes going uh, the welding process here. And then to the paint shop for another 4 minutes. Then they finish. So within this chart, you can have the total movement distance. 
in which it is uh, 97 feet and the time needed is 25 minutes okay so this chart is very uh, uh, contain a lots of information for the job okay uh, so this is a very uh, they, they give you the distance the minutes and also the job description by using the symbol Okay, next is activity chart. Okay, what is activity chart for? It's a way to improve utilization of on, an operator and a machine. Okay, or the combination. Oh. So, this one is on the operation of oil change and fluid check. Okay, maybe this one is the car service center. Yeah? So, they have two operators here. So, they want to know whether operator 1 and 2 have a balanced work or task. Okay, so... We can see see here that okay operator one they have the time here, uh, take order okay, vacuum the car. So this is a a, a two two operator uh, job description okay. Operator two the task is move car to the pit okay, drain the oil, check the transmission, check change oil filter, replace oil plug and so on. So operator two know what his uh, task or responsible responsibility and operator one know what he need to to do so that the the process of uh oil change and fluid check can be done within 12 minutes okay so it's a very fast uh, process okay next one is the operation chart okay, the operation chart shows the right and left hand motion uh, this is for one person okay for one uh workers and then they show that okay the left hand activity and the right hand activity and this is the symbol is the same okay as uh, our process chart so this uh, person using his left hand to reach the bowl okay this is the i think this is assembly process okay and then uh the the right hand uh, doing nothing okay and then grabs the bowl move the bowl Okay, the distance is uh, 6 inch and then hold the bolt and then after that, the, they're using the right hand to reach the washer. Okay, and then uh, grab the washer, move the washer and place washer on the bolt. So, they, these are very detailed on the process of left hand, right hand. So, that sometimes they need to know whether is if the workers are left-handed. Uh, so, if they're left-handed, left they need to, to consider maybe some of the tools they need to move to the other side okay this one is very uh we want to know whether the left hand and the right hand have a balanced work okay all right this is area three okay we have done uh, the two distinct area so the area three okay i will discuss in the live session